Hello everybody, I am Perfectly Penguin, and today I am on a Scratch tutorial video again. And today's Scratch tutorial video is making a name for a character, and maybe it can be a list of characters. I'm going to show you both. So what this project's going to be about is it's going to it's going to take a first name randomly, and it's going to take a last name randomly, and then it's going to put that into a list of names, and then that list of names will have more names, but no two names will be the same. And with all these names that are generated, you could create like a lot of different things. So first, we need to make three variables and three lists. First name, last name, name. Those are the variables, and they are for all sprites, so it's not this for this sprite only, it's for all sprites, but they're not global variables. Now lists, you'll need names, first names and last names. I just made it names dash first and names dash last, that way they're close to each other in case I add more lists, but I don't need to do that like this. I could put first names, last names. I just did it this way, you don't have to. Now that we have all three of those vari or variables and lists, and the list two are not global, which they can't be, but they are not for this sprite only. They for are, are all sprites. Okay, so once you have this, you want to take one green flag clicked, delete all of names, delete all of first names, and delete all of last names. And now what we're going to do is we are going to put like add thing to names but we're gonna like change this to Fred or but we don't want this to be names we want this to be first names and then we want like maybe another thing for first names we want it to be Joey and then we would keep doing this until we have the names we want and then we would go into last names and then maybe we would put down Anderson and like, just keep doing that until you have as much as you want, and then we'll proceed to the next step, which will be right after this. And I am back with the Scratch tutorial after I put down all the names into my lists, and now you can see I have first names in about alphabetical order, and then I have last names right under them. Now, instead of putting it all in one list, you could actually go like this, then just put all of the last name stuff over here, and then where it says add that to last names, you just drag this all the way up here, all the way up there, and there you go. You can keep it like this, you don't have to. That way you can see which ones are first and which ones are last names. So now, we're going to get on to the part where it where it chooses names and then combines them together. So this is where we're going to be using the variable first name, last name, and name. So get a one green flagged clicked. And we can actually take this where it says delete all of names out from this part right here and just put it here. Don't need to, but you can. Now, let's put a repeat 10 loop. And now, we don't need it to repeat exactly 10 times, but this is how many names it's going to choose. So, I don't know how many you want, but I'll just say, let's say I want five names, okay? So, now what I'll do is I will, I'm just going to move this over. Now, I'm going to take a variable and I'm going to set first name to, and then now I'm going to put right under that, set last name to. So now what we want is to go into our list section down here, and we want to grab item one of names, or whatever lists, and now we want to grab two of those, switch one of the lists to first names, and the other list to last names. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit pick random and we're going to put it over top of the one in each of those. Now, in the top one where it says names first or if you have the last one, but whichever one says name item pick random of names first, you want to go ahead and go into this and find length of names 
first, first names. So now this means it's not working. That's because you have to hit the green flag. And now it's working. So now it's picking one of the many names that are in first names. Now we'll do the exact same thing with the bottom, but make sure it's last names of last names, not first names of last names or last names of first names, or else it might not work correctly. But as you can see, they work now. So now go ahead and put item pick random one to length of names first of names first into first name. That's what you set first name to. And then set last name to item pick random one of length of last names of last names. And now set name to join. And now get another join. And now put the join into the other join. So it looks like this. Now instead of putting apple, apple, banana, clear out first, second, and third. But now in this second one right here, you won't be able to see it, but you want to hit space. Now you might not be able to tell that there's a space there. So you want to go ahead and hit space right there. That way it separates the first name from the last name. That way it's not combined. So now that we've done that, we want to go into, where do we want to go into? Variables, yes. And now first name is in the first and then last name is in the third. So now it's not working, why not? Well, let's see. So if we do that, Victor Lee, okay, there it goes, there it's working. We actually hadn't hit that yet and activated it and that's why it wasn't working, but now we're getting it. Okay, so now you wanna set name to join first name, or join blank, join last name. And make sure in this blank right here, like I said before, there is a space, that is very important. Now we want to add the variable name to list names, that way it's in there. Now after we do this, we want to obviously delete the name, the last name that was just picked out, that way we can't have it again. So we want to go delete one of names, but we want to change this to last names, and instead of one, we want to get item number of thing in names, but we want to change it to last names, and now item number of last names. So put that right there. So delete item number of last name in last names of last names, which means it's just going to delete the last name that was picked out of the list, so it can't be picked again. So once we have that, we drag it into there. Now let's hit the green flag and see how it works. So let's go ahead and show the list names. So now we got five names. Quinn Lee, AJ Mack, Wyatt Walker, Jack Owens, and Urban Harrison. Now real quick, let's say we don't want to have it where it always deletes the last name, but it deletes the first name. Well, so what we'll do is we'll go into an if else, then we'll put this right here, this statement, the delete item number of last name in last names of last names, the last two last names being a list. Then we'll want to just duplicate that and everywhere it says last name, you'll want to change it to first name, which means it will delete the first name instead. Now put that in the top of the if loop and now put a equals sign, then put a pick random one, two, let's just say 15. If it equals 12, then it will delete the first name instead of the last name, which means there could be two people with the last name. Otherwise, it will delete the last name and not the first name. So this means that based on how I have it, it is a 1 15 chance that the first name is deleted. So now, Let's see, I'm actually going to increase the times it repeats to 30 to see if I can get it to happen. Now, as you can see, we have two Isaacs 
but that's because it didn't need the last name, not the first. So I'm going to quickly scan over this and see if we get two of the same names. Up oh, we do. Number three, Rob Zagat, a name I made up, <laughs> and Daniel Zagat. So it can happen. Now, look though, we will not see Rob anywhere else in this list. And I went through all 30 and we did not see Rob. So, there you go. That is how you make a name generator where it takes a last name and it takes a first name and mashes them together to make a name and then puts it in a list where you can have a bunch of people and that's how you do it. So, thank you for watching this scratch tutorial. I'm Perfectly Penguin and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.